Greetings, everyone. <clears throat> Alpha Magnus here. Um, got another exciting review. Um, so I uh, this weekend I went to I went on vacation, personal vacation. Nothing I'm going to share, uh, but uh, it was uh, it was it was okay. On the way, there was a Fisher Price store in Gerard, I believe it is. Um, <clears throat> might have been on Gerard Avenue. I don't know. The, the post is on my Instagram if you want to check that out. Um, managed to find they had the next wave of Masters of the Universe Origins. Uh, I don't even think I can. Pre <coughs> you could pre-order this wave. Um, I had I had this guy, Snake Armor Skeletor. That's it. Uh, pre-ordered. So. <sighs> like <laughs> it's super weird i don't know where uh <coughs> why the fisher price store gets them so early they don't make them there maybe it's a distribution center i don't know uh but i was excited to see these i do have a regular roboto um so this is this is actually for this is for a special um thing i'm going to be doing a, a custom if you will uh because I've got a couple of um, different ideas. Uh, I'm still trying to continue the Masters of the Universe uh, WWE Eternia line. So maybe I'll use it for that. I have another weird comedy line that I'm going to be doing uh, some videos with. But I was just glad to get all of them. Um, I, don't th I only remember Snake Armor Skeletor being up for pre-order. All the rest I don't think were... Um, I have to check my Big Bad Toy Store because I don't think I had these guys pre-ordered. And it's kind of weird. Um, anyway, it shows you you got your your, your three three weapons there. Um, Rise the Snake Man, yada yada. There's him fighting Skeletor and Too Bad. So we're obviously going to get a Too Bad. Um, and there's Hypno, Snake Armor, Skeletor, and Tongue Lashor. I also picked up, um, they had a Eternian Goddess. I had never picked this one up, um, so I'll I'll do an eventual review of this. Uh, nothing real crazy. I might actually just save the review for when I get the newer Tila, because um, I thought about doing some part swapping on that. But um, this one's okay as well. It's I, the only one that I have like literally zero interest in is the uh, Beast Man here. Uh, I would get it for like five bucks. I'm not gonna. I, I'm just not into those. I think there was a, <clears throat> that's either the Lords of Power or a comic. This is comic, uh, Roboto. So let's get into this guy. Um, different colors. Uh, the regular Roboto is red, but the mini comics Roboto uh, was different colors and had uh, had the very pronounced heart up there. Uh, aside from that, I'm pretty sure it's the same exact thing. Uh, this one did have a dent in it. I purposely took this one because I don't care. Um, all of them were unpunched there, so I left the others for, uh, other collectors to, <laughs> to do that. Um, Mattel and Fisher Price are the same company, so that's why they get these. Um, weirdly, they had some real old, um, real old, uh, W, W, Eternia figures. Like, I think Stephanie McMahon was one of them. Um, so I was like, all right, whatever. Uh, this is, uh, looks like the U.S. version. So it does have, um, have all the fun stuff here. We got Hypno. We got um, all them. I'm going to be doing um, videos for all them. I normally wouldn't have even picked up this Roboto. I usually kind of wait to see these in person. But guess what? I did see them in person. So uh, there's that. And as per usual... There's all the stuff you can do. I think I don't think you could take his head off because um, that was part of the mechanism. So that is a bit disappointing because I thought about using this chest piece for um, for another thing, but we'll figure it out. So uh, as as the rest of the line is, these all have the snake uh, embossed stuff here. Uh, I like how they just put the little thing there to keep it from falling out. That's fine. Uh, we all know it works. Uh, and, uh, there we go. We punched it. <laughs> Some people get real weird about me doing that, but, uh, whatever. Let's pop this guy open. Now, just like the, uh, traditional Roboto, 
pop his legs up here and here. So this is why you cannot do that because he actually has a gimmick. Um, very surprised they kept these gimmicks, but I'm also glad. Uh, now I could probably still pop this head off. Uh, it looks like it's just just a just a neat little uh, like a little clip with a spring loaded action here. So this probably could come out. It looks like it's only on a uh, thing. So I could use it on other ones. It would take, of course, the 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 talking function out. I may still do it um, depending on how I feel. Uh, the arms feel a little more gummy, uh, not not a bad gummy like a, like that, but they feel a little more gummy. At least the forearms do. It's probably because you can pop these, you can pop his hands out. That's disappointing because that stays that color. But um, you can pop his axe off here and put on the robot grabby hand. <sighs> Jeez, <clears throat> dusty in here. And then you can also pop off and do the um, the gun hand, which I, I, I can't remember what the point of this is. Um, now, one of my big issues with this line is that there's nowhere to put these. Like, they could have made it where, you know, it pegs in. Or there's plenty of space here to do that. They just didn't. Um, so that is a disappointment uh, with that. Now let's just see what we can all do here. Looks like, uh, well, that's cool. So even though it is linked to this because of the weird little shape here, you can still take the legs off, which I was actually wondering if you could. Um, but you can see the gimmick still works there. Looks like you can also still pop this out. So they actually made this pretty well. Um, the only part that has to stay uh, and one is is this chess piece, which I'm not gonna not gonna lie, I I, I like this a lot. Um, so the the thing I might do um, might actually work. I just gotta figure out a way to attach a regular head to this this thing here. So I think this is just probably glued in, and I can probably just take a thin razor and and crack the the few things that I need to here. This might be a whole mess, but whatever um we'll figure it out when that time comes mm. all right and then we'll put i actually like to have the robot hand back in there and there it is uh you can also pop the legs off uh Sometimes they have to heat those up, but they're because it's just like a rubbery substance. But uh, I don't really think that's going to be necessary for any of the customizing that I am going to be doing. Uh, I'll keep an eye on this channel. I am doing uh, Sunday Fun Days, is what I'm calling them right now, uh, where I will do stuff like customizing and and light mods and and other things like that. Um, I have a big project coming up soon that will take that now. I just got this today, printed out, I'm trying to use up some of my old, uh, old filament, ta-da, this is the perfect, like, comic Roboto, <laughs> um, right there, so keep an eye out, because I'm going to be doing, uh, pretty much all of four of these figure five, I guess, in a row, just to get that, um, out there. This is just a, like a tampograph. I thought it was, it looks like a sticker. No. I don't have the the uh, regular Roboto out because I don't have space to be displaying that currently, but it is it is pretty much the same thing. They just put a heart on it. And I, I, it's weird because I could have sort of the original robot, the, the other Roboto had a embossed heart, but maybe I was mistaken there. <laughs> anyway. Uh, if you like this little review, um, please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, share, etc. If 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 you so decide to, um, 
Real neat figure. Glad glad I could pick this one up because, as I said, I'm using it for some customs. Um, I'm going to have a bunch of weird customs, especially in the WWE Eternia line, uh, coming up real soon. Uh, so until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus. These are toys.